Welcome to August. It's going fast, right? This year is like finished. Um, the sun's beaming in through the window, so I'm, I'm enjoying this quite a lot. I was going to film outside, but it's a bit too windy. We've had that experience with Dustin before. The doesn't work, right? So I'm not doing that. So I'm doing it indoors. Um, yeah, August wines. I hope you enjoyed July. Uh, we've had some incredible feedback from a few of the wines there. People want to buy boxes of it. So, uh, in good news, what we're going to do, and what we are doing, what I've been working on, is producing the website so that you'll be able to pick one of your favourite bottles and buy six bottles, six bottles of it, bottles of bottles. That makes sense, right? Yeah. So the website will have our wines, and you'll be able to kind of go, well, I love that, I'll take six of that, or I love that, I'll take six of that. And we'll still have the producer profiles, but we'll also have the wines. So people who've been saying they'd like to buy more of one of the wines they've tasted, now's your time. Uh, so this month we are rolling out the big guns. We are rolling out something I've been hammering on about for months and months and months. And you've been seeing it all over our social media. So Itchy Vidayo, uh, they're chewy. So they're chewy, his chewy, they, his one man and his uh, cat. 100% Sangiovese, left on skin for one hour. So as you can hear my voice is really knackered. I just did the wine car boot in London on the weekend, talk solid for eight hours. And I kept going on about this. And my pattern was, Sangiovese left on skin for one hour. So basically, for those who don't know what that means, he takes the grapes and he squishes them and they go into the tank and then he leaves it for one hour and then he separates the skins from the juice. So what you get is a nice, lovely blush coloured rosé. His previous vintages were a lot darker, a lot more fruit, a lot more kind of, lot more overpowering for a rosé. So Gregorio has realised that the Provence style rosé sells a lot better and works a lot better. This is really clean, really crisp, really fresh. Minerality, we talk about a lot. Really designed to be an aperitivo style wine. So aperitivo is where you sit down and you open a bottle and you share it with friends, that's it. But for me, this is the best rosé I've found in Italy. Um, because it's a little bit left of centre, so it's not sweet and fruity, which is what a lot of people go for when they go for a rosé. If you don't like sweet and fruity rosé, this is your huckleberry, you'll love this. It's clean and fresh with a little bit of zestiness. Um, kind of unripe fruits. You don't need a food pairing, but if you want salad, chicken. Like it doesn't need a lot. It's more to just sit and drink and enjoy with friends. Perfect. Hot summer's evening. You know, this summer's supposed to roll on and on and on according to the Met Office, but we'll see. Second up, Poggio Piano, the Galardi family. So they bought you such a test. Um, Comera, the Chianti. So we did the Chianti. Uh, Superiore of their last month. Um, I've tried the Reserva. I think it's going to be rolling out at Christmas because it's amazing, 100% Sangiovese. 2012 as well, cracking year. Um, this isn't, this is 2016. So this is Verdicchio, which is mm, probably more famous for coming from the Marche. So leading into next month, I have you 100% Verdicchio. It's like I plan this stuff. Uh, Verdicchio and Trebbiano. So Trebbiano and Verdicchio are both very, I would say, zesty wines. You know what I mean by that? They're quite sharp and quite fresh and quite clean. They're not too fruity, they're not too fruit driven. So fruit driven is a real wanky wine term. No, this is wine fruit driven. I use it because it kind of means that you just get a load of fruit and not much else. Whereas with this one, you don't get that. With this one, you don't get that. They're not fruit-driven wines. They're more based around the acidity and the freshness of them. So they're designed to go, well, this is designed to go with food. The rosy, not so much. So I would go creamy chicken pasta, roast pork. You've got to get away with roast pork. Maybe even cheese, like a creamy cheese, because it's really quite sharp. Uh, that's a bit ballsy, actually. Give it a go. Let me know what happens if you do that. I should probably do it myself and tell you, right? That's how this thing's supposed to work. Um... 2016 vintage, so a uh, year before last. So it's had a bit of time in bottle, which gives it time to kind of soften a little. Uh, it's just great. It's a food wine, it's fresh. It's from just outside Firenze, Florence. The family are lovely. You've tried a couple more of their wines, so you know they're a good producer. Give it a whirl, let me know what you think. I like it. I like it because it's a foody white wine. Uh, most white wines are just bah, chuck them down your neck. This badger, I put this on social media the other day because I was I'd forgotten what it tasted like. So I tried this in Piacenza um, in 2017. So there's a big show in Piacenza that Carlo and I went to, uh, and we met uh, Tonuto Marelli, um, who makes this Nicolema. So I emailed them recently because they're 
technical sheets. So technical sheets on, on websites are how the wine is made, what's in it, how long it spends in oak barrels. It's all the stuff that I learn and pass on to you in a kind of rudimentary term, as in spends time in oak. It's great. Um, I read all the shit so you don't have to. Uh, if you're a wine, wine care, wine nerd, like I can, I'm going to start putting technical sheets, PDFs against the wines so you can get more of a, a like tasting notes because people are asking me for them and I've just not done them because I thought this would be a more fun way to interact. But I'm going to be a bit more professional and do tasting notes as well. Uh, so then you got them. So I emailed them recently and said, "What's in the bottle?" Sangiovese, Merlot, Syrah, and Cherry was the response. Now I've been in Tuscany long enough around these wine producers to know when they say Cherry, what they mean is Chile Giorgio. So we had Chile Giorgio in month one, if you remember. It's a great, mostly grown in Marema in Tuscany, coastal Tuscany. Uh, it's it means Cherry. <coughs> so this is a four grape blend, biodynamic production, which is phases of the moon. Phases of the moon is massive in Italy, especially on the east coast. Uh, there's a picture somewhere on my social media, I'll find out, put it up, uh, and you can see there's a clock to the, to the different months of calendar, the lunar cycle basically. This wine is produced doing that. It's, um, it's cracking. Considering there's only 10% Chile Giorgio in it, I find that's the real standout grape for me. So Chile Giorgio for me is a bit like a kind of just ripe cherry, but you kind of get a bit of the pith in as well. Take the pith. Um, you know, like the woodiness. So it's unlike cherry, a little bit of wood. Doesn't sound hugely appealing, but trust me, it's wonderful. With these other wine grapes blended together, this is a banger. Uh, probably one of my favourites. You know, I keep coming and keep saying that, but because I tried these wines so long ago, and then I opened them again for tasting to do this, and I go, God, I forgot how good that was. Um, but this is a rocket. So they are wines for August. Yeah, so a nice big red. Now it's getting cooler in the evenings. I thought this would be lovely. Steak. I know I say steak a lot, but they eat a lot of steak in Tuscany, so it goes well with steak. Uh, roast lamb. Um, you could do like a marinated grilled lamb, lamb on the barbie, something like that. That would work really well with this. It's big, it's tannic, it's got a lot of acidity. Uh, this is amazing with, like I said, like a creamy chicken pasta. Chicken, bacon, cream, a little bit of English mustard, pasta, boom. This would work really well. Or like I said, try it with the creamy cheese. It'd be quite lovely because it's sharp and zesty. So creamy, sharp, and cuts right through it. Works. And this is just to sit in the garden and enjoy with your friends and family and loved ones and or sit on your own and smash it. Um, yeah, you guys are the last to get this, so uh, we're going to have to order some more. In, but there we go. Um, enjoy them. Let us know what you think. We will see you in September. I might have a new background by then. Uh, I'm still trying to find somewhere to live. I'm going to be in England now and put into the new year. So if you're watching this, this is a call for help. Jackson and I need to rent a room. Um, or if you know someone that's looking for a house or you've got a van that we can live in, we're not really fussy. We're just going to be here until September, so we might uh, move around a wee bit, which is fun, because the backgrounds will be different, but the wines will always be with us. All right? Uh, enjoy the wine, have a lovely time. Come for the dog, stay for the wine. It's our new motto. He's not here, I'll shut him out of the room because he runs around and thinks I'm talking to him. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, I love you all, I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao.